Some search the world to find him. Some do their best to fight him. Some let him live inside them. He's Jesus Christ, the truth, the light, the mission exciting. Hi kids, we're on a mission exciting. And today we're looking to see how kids can grow their faith. So your job, should you choose to accept it, is to work with me to find a great way for kids to grow their faith. Will you join me? Then let's pray. Our Father, help us to see how to grow our faith. In Jesus' name, amen. Last week, we saw how kids can show their faith by honoring their parents. But how can kids grow their faith? I don't know if you noticed or not, uh, but that's the same question I had. Because from what I can see, uh, both adults and kids have faith, but more often than not, things come up where they need more faith. Well, kids, can you think of ways to grow your faith? I hate to interrupt, uh, but I just remembered uh, something. Uh, it's found in Romans 10, 17. It's a great way. And what does that say? Uh, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. What do you think, kids? That sounds like a great way. Sounds like we can grow our faith by hearing God's word. Yes. And by eating bread crust. Bread crust? Yes. You know, uh, the edges of the bread, a bread crust, the part kids don't like. And that's why they don't have as much faith as I do. Uh, but crust will grow their faith. Brother IDK, kids can't grow their faith in God by eating bread crust. Where'd you get that from? Well, I don't know if you know this or not, but, but I'm a scientist. And I researched things. So I looked up uh, what it says in Romans 10, 17 in the original language, which is Greek. And it says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of crust. Where are you getting crust from? Well, right there, uh, that word that has a C. And, and I think an R, uh, and I guess the rest, because being a scientist, uh, you know, we sometimes have to hypothesize. Another word for guess. Uh, so I guess that that word in the original language is crust, bread crust. Actually, I think you have something here. I knew it. So I got some bread, uh, some slices to grow their faith. No, I don't mean the crust thing. I mean, I can see that the word you guessed was crust is very important to growing our faith. That word is crust, or I'm not a scientist. That word is actually Christ. Well, being a scientist and all, uh, I need to see that in English in the Bible because I'm pretty sure it says crust. Okay, let's look at the verse in all English. So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. Well, I see it there, but that's just one example. Okay, here's another one. Consequently, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. Well, that's only two. I still think it's crust, bread crust that grows kids faith, not the word of Christ. Uh, though that's good. Well, here are some more examples. So faith comes from hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message and the message is heard through the word about Christ. So faith comes from hearing, that is hearing the good news about Christ. And if you need some more, no, uh, I get it. You're right. It says that we can grow faith by hearing about Christ, not crust. I don't know how I missed that, being a scientist and all. No worries, Brother IDK. You did a great job by turning our attention to what it says in the original language. The Greek letters you saw are how you spell Christ. Besides, I missed it too. I always thought Romans 10, 17 said, we grow our faith by hearing the word of God. But in the original language and in these other translations, Romans 10, 17 specifically says, we grow our faith by hearing about Jesus. So children, if you want to grow your faith, listen to those who preach Jesus. Listen to those who preach about Jesus and your faith will grow and grow and grow until it is completely unrealistic. Oh, uh, what do you mean unrealistic? Uh, that doesn't sound good. I mean by hearing and learning how Jesus, who is God, became a human being and by hearing how Jesus lived the perfect life, something no one else has done and by hearing how Jesus was crucified without giving up on God, and by hearing how Jesus rose up again on the third day, just like he said. If kids learn all these unrealistic but true things, they will grow to believe that with God, all things are possible. Well, kids, we completed the mission. 
We learned how children can grow their faith by hearing about Jesus. Let's pray. Our Father, help us to grow our faith every day by reading and hearing about Jesus every day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, kids, that concludes our Wednesday missions for a while, but see you in Sabbath school on Saturdays and or see you during Oaktown Live on Saturdays.